ready. Uh, I keep cramping up. It's like constant. Keep breathing. Big breaths. Keep breathing makes it hurt worse. <laughs> it's okay. Deep breath again. And then push. Um, pull those legs back. There you go. Push hard, 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 hard. Push, push, push. Stop. Okay. Good. Just like that, and I think you're ready. Ready for what? Maybe to come out. Like, really? Yeah, that's when you go. Probably the next push. Uh, are you feeling pressure? Yeah. We're going to do it. We're going to deliver right up onto your tummy. Okay, just take a nice deep breath and let it out. Take another deep breath, hold it, and bear it off. The content. I've had my own reality show. I've headlined my own burlesque show on the Las Vegas Strip. But now I'm nine months pregnant and I'm about to go on the biggest journey of my life, becoming a mom. It doesn't even seem real, really. This box is giving birth to a nightstand. Okay. My due date is in two days, and I have so much to do with this house. Not in this one. And we have a new house. Not in that one. It's at my dream house. Not there. That we are nowhere near ready to move in. Oh my god, these are heavy. Ah! Ah! I know I'm not gonna have this house ready by the time the baby gets here, but I am pregnant and delusional, and I'm nesting, Ugh. and I need to get it done. Even though it's not gonna get done. I'm getting it done. One. Decorating is a passion of mine, and I was super excited to put a nursery together for my baby. I wanted to do Alice in Wonderland theme. And this room is the room I'm the most hands-on with. I'm not using a decorator's help or anything with it, so I need to finish it, and it's all on me. <laughs> Holly. Babe, thanks for the food. You know you're not supposed to be moving stuff. All I did here was I was like pushing the book boxes around. Be careful. I am careful. That's what's up stuff. I know. I met my boyfriend Pasquale about a year and a half ago. Pasquale has a company called Insomniac and they put on big dance music festivals all over the world. It's like a pop-up theme park. I consider myself an experienced creator. He had come out here to bring his largest festival out to Vegas. I started to see him out a lot of the same places I would go out to. I didn't think that I was her type. I was excited once I started getting a vibe from her. And when I connected with her, it was the best feeling I've ever had. I blinked and we like moved in together. It was obvious almost from the beginning that he was the perfect guy for me and that I was totally in love. We were together maybe like nine months when I got pregnant. Holly getting pregnant took things to a whole nother level. I think Pasquale is in the same place as I am as far as being ready for a family. And everything just kind of happened at the perfect time. I like your hat. I didn't tell you that one. Oh, it's my, it's my caution tape uh, sheet. Maybe we shouldn't really be unpacking stuff anyways because we're redoing the whole house still. I know. You're anxious. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Of course. Man. Yeah. <laughs> are you nervous about anything or are you good? So people are in labor for hours, and you're stuck in one spot. What happens to your pee? Because people are always <laughs> talking, like you read these pregnancy books and they're like, oh, the grossest thing is, is like you poop when you're pushing it out. So I know that happens, so I figure if that happens, are you peeing everywhere too? Because like people say that like women giving birth, they poop and they fart constantly, because you're just pushing and it's just like bleh. Well, I'll film it, so. No! Farting or pooping. I've never given birth before, so these are real things I need to know about. And Pasquale's laughing like they're funny, and I'm like, no, this is real. Don't worry about it. It's gonna be fun. Okay. You're gonna enjoy it. It's the most beautiful thing ever. Okay. So. I'm excited. Mwah. 
It's gonna be fun. It is gonna be fun. Just promise me you're not gonna move stuff around in the house anymore. Okay. Promise. Thank you, promise. Um, Upstairs? Yeah, come upstairs. I'm bored. <laughs> How can you be bored with a baby inside? Well, I just feel like I've been kind of as ready as I can be for so long, and now it's like, where is she? <laughs> You're so big. She can come any minute. My good friend Josh, who I used to work with in Peep Show, and my friend Tanya are coming to help me pack my hospital bags. And Tanya has a daughter, so I think she'll have some good advice for me. Everybody's been really supportive the whole pregnancy. It feels really good to bring your baby into a world where, you know, people care. Mm -hmm. What yeah. are the essentials you already have packed? Well, um... I'm sorry, cute panty. Granny, oh. I have to bring granny underwear. Wait, they're like, granny underwear. <laughs> yes, they are. Those are granny. granny. Those are granny. This is not a granny. <laughs> yes, it is. Anything that's not a thong is a granny oh panty. Oh, my God. I wish my grandma wore these. She's wearing these. So pads yeah. and granny panties. Wait, right I am now. so intrigued by this baby stuff. This is a nursing bra. Oh, God. I'm sorry, what? It's a nursing bra. You unclick it and go. Easy access. I didn't use that. Wow. They are coming up with all kinds of things mm -hmm. these days. Mm. How many times do you have to nurse? Like every two hours in the beginning. Better lotion up the nipples. <laughs> no, I have nipple cream. I packed it in off. here. <laughs> See, I'm talking about they got everything now. They do. I know. She's, she's more than prepared. I definitely wasn't this prepared, so I'm impressed. Here's in here. Oh, this is the cord blood kit. <laughs> the what? what? It's a cord blood kit. Like, they cut the cord and put it in a jar, and they store it because they're making so many advancements with what they can do with cord blood that when she's older, if she has any health problems, oh. like, banks all this stuff. Wow. What are you most nervous about? The pee thing. <laughs> because, like, you hear horror stories about, like, people pushing their bladder out of their vagina. Oh, that's great. <sighs> okay, so, oh. that's not good. I'm getting an epidural. I don't want to feel anything. I had that, too. And then I thought I had to t go to the bathroom. Well, they say. That that's what it feels like. They say that you poop your pants. No, 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 because you prepare yourself before so you don't do that. No. <laughs> well, we love you. We'll see you a little bit later then. Yeah. yeah I know. Coming up, we've got a strange name picked out. It flows really nice. <laughs> Top secret. Mm, yeah. mm, I'm feeling it already. Okay. I think so. Is there a warm wetness? Yeah. I think this is our last dinner out as a couple without a child. <laughs> this is our last official, yes. I'm excited. Let's, I'm excited. It was so nice when Pasquale wanted to take me out for like one last romantic dinner. He's been super attentive and supportive of me the whole time I've been pregnant. And he just continues to like surprise me and impress me every day. Sometimes I think about the baby coming, like she's gonna grow up to be a totally complex person. She's her own person that we have never met before. I know. She might as well be coming from a foreign country. It's totally foreign. I'm excited we're starting with a girl. She's going to be fun. Me too. I can't wait to take her to Disneyland and stuff. Me and Holly being together and having a baby has definitely brought us closer together. It's a new chapter in both our lives. I can't wait to see her face discovering different things I know, every day. And her personality unfolding. It's going to be crazy. Meeting her, seeing her personality. I know Pascal's going to be a great dad. It makes me realize how lucky I am to have found somebody who's not only so perfect for me and that I'm so in love with, but somebody who's really ready to be a father at the same time I'm ready to be a mom. People warn me about the inconveniences of, like, waking up or, yeah. oh, changing the diaper smells so much or whatever. <laughs> I'm ready. A new adventure. I want to prove everybody wrong and be like, it's so easy and fun. <laughs> yeah. I want to clean up poop. <laughs> <laughs> I think Pasquale and I are going to be a great team. To our last night out, to the new baby. To the new baby. show what's it like it's a lot of fun like our dancers are phenomenal oh, they're super awesome. good 
the first time I rehearsed with them. Like, oh my God. After our last romantic dinner for a while, Pasquale and I went to go see the show Pin Up, which stars my friend Claire. Give me some advice before I go on tonight. My things I always remembered from when I first started was, A, no mess up, just keep going, because they won't necessarily know you messed up. Okay. And just have fun with it. Claire is an old friend of mine. She's a pinup model, and she's starting her showgirl career, and I'm really supportive of her. They did an amazing job with your billboards, and they're everywhere. Like, I think you have more billboards than Peep Show had billboards. They're giving it a lot of attention. I'm a little bit jealous, though. I miss having all my Peep Show billboards. <laughs> It's crazy to think how different my life is gonna be after the baby arrives. I had been performing in Peep Show for almost four years, and it was really a special job for me. My best friend Josh, we met in Peep Show, and we always had so much fun performing together on stage. Leaving Peep Show was hard for me, but it was definitely a job I couldn't keep doing once I really started to look pregnant. So I hung on as long as I could, and, you know, and was still on stage dancing in six inch heels until I was like five and a half months pregnant. But I had to say goodbye, so it was kind of bittersweet. It was definitely moving um, from one chapter of my life onto the next one. <laughs> do something again, though, Holly. Like, everything is just gonna, I think Change. Just, yeah, it's I think, totally different. No, you're gonna, you're gonna be a mama for a little bit, but whenever you put something out there, it happens immediately. You know, a year and a half ago, you know, I wasn't meeting any guys I liked. I didn't, yeah. you know, I didn't even know Pasquale. I knew I wanted to settle down and have a family, but I have to remind myself, this is what you always wanted, so you can calm down and just enjoy it. I want to get back to work and I want to do other things. Yeah. Well, what do you want to do? Change it up. Something that people think I can't do. Something that's just not all about my body. Everybody always asks me what I'm going to do as far as work after I have the baby. And I'm not really sure yet, but I do know I definitely want to go back to work. Thank so you. excited. Thanks so much. I want to make choices in my career that are better than choices I've made before. I want to inspire my daughter. I want to set a good example for her. I'm super proud of Claire and super excited for her, but I'm a little bit jealous as well. I remember back in the day when I had a new show. It's a really amazing feeling, and I'm not gonna have that anymore. I'm definitely looking at my career in a whole different way than I ever have. This could be the day. I'm filming tomorrow. <laughs> Here we are again. I'm at my last doctor's appointment, getting my final tests on the baby before she's born. And my doctor suggested getting induced on my due date because I'm scared of like the possibility of having a C-section, which I don't want. I want to try and do a regular delivery. Here you can feel for a foot. I don't know. Do you feel her foot? Yeah. Pasquale and I have had a lot of fun with this pregnancy just to see how emotional he gets and his reactions when he feels my belly move or feels the baby's foot. Oh, it's all been really amazing. See you soon, baby. <laughs> I can't wait. Baby countdown. It's almost your birthday. I've been to the doctor, obviously, so many times throughout my pregnancy, and I'm always nervous to hear if my baby's OK or not, but this is the last one. As long as the baby's healthy and ready to go and has gone full term, I'm excited. I, I just I just want to meet her. Hey, you ready? I'm excited. You all got your bag all packed, all the good yeah, stuff? Yeah, I do. So one foot right here. All right. So bear with me, a lot of pressure. Oh, yeah, perfect. So you're about two centimeters, mm -hmm. and the cervix is about 50% thinned out. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to just do some what we call ripening agent, okay. which sits overnight. Mm -hmm. And then we take it out, and then we start the mitosin in the morning. OK. And pretty much, I think, based on how the cervix feels, we should be having a baby tomorrow. I can't wait. All right. So then if you want to get dressed, be there at 10 o'clock. OK, thanks. All right, you guys, take thanks care. Thanks a lot. We'll see you soon. Okay. All righty. When I heard from the doctor that in less than 24 hours I was having my baby, I kind of got that adrenaline rush all over again. It, it was almost like the first time I found out I was pregnant. Are you hungry? I could eat. I was thinking of making some salad, because supposedly there's this magical salad recipe that helps you go into labor. What's that going to do to me? I don't think anything. Okay. <laughs> Unless you're hiding something. <laughs> I have 
this crazy friend, Laura. She's a wild, single girl. I was telling Laura I was going to be induced to go into labor. What is the most magical salad? Romaine, watercress, red cabbage, and then like some gorgonzola cheese and balsamic, but I think it's the balsamic that really does it. So how do they actually induce the labor? Do they give you a shot? Well, I was told the first thing is I go tonight and they put seaweed in my vagina. And that supposedly, like, <laughs> prepares everything. And then the next day... Are you messing me... with me or are you being serious? No, I'm dead serious. Oh, my God, I thought you were kidding with me because I wouldn't know. No, I'm dead serious. It's some kind of, like, seaweed pack or something. And they just and go, whoop. Yeah, it's so strange. Supposedly, when they induce you, they do it by putting seaweed in your vagina, which is all well and good, but if I can do it by eating a salad, that might be a little better. <laughs> mm. I'm feeling it already. Oh, my God. I think so. Is there a warm wetness? Yeah. Like... <laughs> No. <laughs> How much water comes out when it breaks? That's a good question. I really have no idea. Is it just like a trickle or is it like a flood? Like wet and wild water park. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up. As soon as I started seeing more people come into the delivery room, I knew it was serious. We're going to do it deliver right up onto your tummy. Okay, just take a nice deep breath and let it out. Take another deep breath, hold it, and bear it off the content. The major thing, man, is just visas. It takes a little bit. They have to provide you know, interviews. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> <Stop it. No. laughs> I'm getting called by the booty. You're getting called by the booty. What happened to that foot massage? Let's do it, baby, yes. Pasquale said he would give me a foot massage, but sometimes he gets really caught up in his work, so I gotta do some pretty stupid stuff to get his attention. So I'll see you in a little bit. All right, baby. We have a date. <laughs> you're supposed to stay away from foot massages when you're pregnant, because if you hit certain pressure points, you could go into labor, so since I'm looking to go into labor, I thought, what better excuse to recruit Pasquale for a foot massage? If you massage, like, right here, like, in between the ankle and... Hello! Tanya! Hey. <laughs> here I am to invade your privacy. Tanya has so much personality. I think she's starting to want to have another baby, too. What's going on here? Well, I've been avoiding foot massages because supposedly, that you know, there's acupressure points that can send you into labor. So is he doing a good job? I'm loving this. Yeah. It's a good foot massage. Yeah. I want to be the first babysitter. Aw. And then you can name her after me. <laughs> We've got a strange name picked out. Yeah? Yeah. Top secret. Mm-hmm. You have a middle name for the baby as well? Yeah, it's a Disney princess name. Oh. So what's happening after this tonight? Anything? Yeah, we're having a baby. <laughs> yeah, well, we're supposed to go in. Is this the last stop to try to, you know, home induce or what? Yeah, it is. Switch. I love this. You're taking good care of her. Thank you, Bobo. Okay, it's gonna come out now. No. <laughs> now. <laughs> You're gonna rub little baby feet, like hopefully maybe so tomorrow, cute. right? So excited. So we should probably start packing up. It's about that time. Oh my gosh, I can help you take your stuff for you if you yeah, want. Yeah, thank you car. for offering. That's sweet. It was so weird when I had to leave to go to the hospital. All right. It was really surreal. It just felt like I was leaving on a road trip, but that's not the case at all. Next time I come back to the house, I'm gonna have a baby. And I'm gonna grab my purse. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. nervous because I have no idea what to expect, and this is the craziest thing that I've ever done. But at the same time, it's happening, and there's nothing I can do about it. I can't <laughs> believe it's turning real. I know. Like, I can't really accept that it's real, because it's just so crazy. Oh, you're coming home with Mama. feel like there's nothing left I can do to prepare and I know I'm gonna have an epidural before I go into labor so it's not gonna be painful. I'm kind of thinking about it like it's a spa-like experience. This is the baby spa. It's not a hospital. I gotta come up with your list of stuff to do. Here at baby spa, you have to make sure she gets the cord blood. 
If they take the baby out of the room for any reason, you have to There's follow There's no way the baby. the baby is leaving my sight. Vagina patrol. <laughs> the war zone is off limits. Yes. So I just don't want it to be like a show down there with like everybody looking and like only doctors and stuff. Yeah. And no. Okay. You know, I've done like nude pictorials and whatnot, but people have only seen like the front of me. They haven't seen like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, that's not, that's, that's off limits, especially while I'm giving birth. Like, Pasquale can't even see it while I'm giving birth because that's not even, like, the normal vibe. So, you know, when we get back to being a normal couple, I don't need that memory in his head. Ta-da! Cute. Start here. Put this extra one right here. Whew. It's getting down to zero hour. I'm gonna turn off my phone. I'm getting nervous, it's getting real. I just can't believe like how big my belly is and I have to squeeze that out. <laughs> like, <laughs> they're giving me the medication that's gonna start my labor and I'm nervous and I'm excited. So we'll see what happens. That's this will be inserted the posterior side okay. part of your cervix. Looks easy enough. Don't forget to breathe. I'm breathing. <laughs> <laughs> Is it painful? No, no. Good job. How are you feeling? Good. I'm ready for a good night's sleep. <laughs> the last we'll have in a while, straight sure. through. Ready to go to sleep. That's good. Getting sleepy. Coming up. You excited? I'm so excited. Hey. Okay, so I talked to her. She wants to just start pushing. Great. Oh. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Take a deep <sighs> breath and do it one more time. I'm scared. Oh, my God. induced and my labor was starting, I started to feel the contractions and they were getting really painful. I don't know how people do this without painkiller. It hurts so bad already. Keep breathing, don't have to go. The pain of a contraction kind of feels like squeezing your insides all together into like a tiny little marble. I'm nervous. I keep cramping up. It's like constant. Keep breathing. Big breaths. Breathing makes it hurt worse. <laughs> Pascal being really sweet and trying to comfort me when I was in pain, but there's just nothing you can do to comfort anybody. It was like killing me with my partner that I love so much and her being in pain. I can't cry, it makes it worse. It makes it hurt worse. <sighs> Was she afraid? Was she cold? It got more and more intense every minute. Hi there. I'm Dr. Anter from Anesthesia. Nice to meet you. I'm being a big baby. It's OK. It's pretty normal. I wasn't really nervous about getting the epidural. You're in so much pain, you don't care. You just want help. Try to hold as still as you can, OK? OK. Just hold real still. Don't jump. It's OK. Feels <laughs> funny. That is the worst part right there. Okay. As I put the catheter in, it's very normal sometimes to feel a numbness or a tingling down one side of your body. Okay. You're almost done. You're doing great. Okay, and the needle's out of your back. You can bring your head up slowly. You did awesome. Yeah, it wasn't so bad, huh? Epidurals are amazing. My pain went away. I was in a great mood. It's okay. It's embarrassing, but I just peed. <laughs> are you sure you just peed? Or is it just the water coming? <laughs> <laughs> we'll clean you. It's something. After I had my epidural, one of my worst fears happened. I wet the bed. Or I thought I did. Because you can't tell after you've had the epidural, you're kind of numb. You just feel water. And I was like, I peed. And they were like, no, your water broke. Hi, interviewer. Hi, baby. 
How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling really good because <laughs> I got my medication. <laughs> I'm feeling better than normal. Good. And you don't feel any pain? I don't feel any pain. Like, I have some feeling. I can feel, like, some pressure. I can, like, wiggle my toes, but I don't feel pain at all. I feel really good. Good. You excited? I'm so excited. We're so close. I know. I can't wait. Hey. Okay, so I talked to her. She wants to just start pushing. When the nurse came in and said I was ready to start pushing, it was sooner than I thought it would happen, but I'm so excited to meet this baby. It, it felt good to hear that. So you have any contraction right okay, now. So grab back behind your legs and push hard, 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 hard. There you go, there you go. Take a deep breath and push again. Nice and hard, pull those legs back towards you. With that baby, push baby down this way. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Keep it coming, keep it coming, keep it coming. My face feels like it's gonna explode. <laughs> <laughs> when I was in labor and I was looking up at Pasquale, I was just so excited. There was so much anticipation going on, and I was so happy to be able to share the moment with him. I couldn't be happier. Are you feeling pressure? Yeah. What we're gonna do is we're gonna deliver right up onto your tummy. Hi. Right. Hi. You can clamp the cord. Oh, and then, are you gonna be cutting the cord? Yes. Okay, guys. Bear with me for one second. So pressure is all you're feeling, no pain, right? Yeah, no pain. Awesome. Just putting this here so we can put the baby right to your chest. Okay. As soon as I started seeing more people come into the delivery room, I knew it was serious and I was really having the baby. So do you feel me pushing right here? Yeah. Just a little bit of pressure. Okay, so that's where you want to focus all your uh, strength and pushing okay. is down here, down low. Okay, okay take a nice deep breath and let it out. Take another deep breath, hold it, and bear it off. The content, great, beautiful. Push. Don't give it up. Push. Keep going. Push. Push. Beautiful. Okay, come in, come in, come in. Keep down. seven, eight, nine, ten. Take a deep breath and do it one more time. I'm scared. Come on, look at your baby. She's crying. She's crying. Okay, stay with me for one second. says the day their baby's born is the best day of their life, but it's really true because when you're first holding your baby, it's like all the emotions take over at once. You know, you're happy and you're blissful and you're joyful and you're nervous and you're scared and you're excited and it's really unlike anything else. When she came out and was put onto Holly's chest and Holly started crying was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. I mean, the, the build up, you know, the energy in the room, and her looking down and letting her emotions out like that, it was it was a lot for me to keep my composure. Did you name her yet? Yeah, we name her Rainbow. Oh, dear. Hi, Rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's telling you something, huh? <laughs> Come on, Rainbow. 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 Come on, Marriage on the brain. <sighs> oh my god. Snugging, snugging with her hand. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> You're so cute, baby. <laughs> So beautiful. Mm -hmm. I love her voice so much. My daughter Rainbow was born at 11.59 a.m. and it was the best day ever. So cute. I'm gonna take her and weigh her. Yeah, I wanna look at her under the warmer, make sure everything's good. Oh, I know it's warmer. It's gonna take it a minute for it. It's oh, gonna be 7'2". Oh, look at her look. Wow, look at her big, beautiful oh, eyes. I love her eyes. She has your eyes, baby. <laughs> she has 19 inches. Thank you. 
good time. I had a good time. We together made this beautiful baby. That's a feeling that I can't even put into words, you know? I mean, there's nothing like that. Hi, baby. Oh. The little baby. <laughs> it made me so happy to see Pasquale hold the baby for the first time. I didn't really want to give her up, but it was really great to see all the love on his face. The first time the rainbow looked up at me, I fell even more in love. And her eyes were giant and beautiful, just like Holly's, and I just melted. She's looking at you. Like, oh, my Welcome. <laughs> Congratulations again. Thank you. You did a great job. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you broke the record. <laughs> yeah, I like that. We'll check on you later, see how things are going, but I don't see any reason why you shouldn't be able to go home tomorrow. Exactly. Look at those cheeks. My goodness. Aww. It's amazing how beautiful you look. Thank you. After everything that you gone through today. Thank you. Oh. Um, and it's, it's also a good day. It's been the best day of my life. Me too. For real. I love you. I love you too. Mwah. Mwah. And we love rainbow. up like a glow worm. We're ready to meet people, aren't we? You should start storming in any minute. We're gonna have a big hospital party for you, Rainbow. Look at all these wristbands I had to get just to get into this party. Yeah. Is that Josh and Uncle Paul? Oh, oh. Sandy Tanya, too. I can't oh wait to be with it. I can't, I can't either. I can't wait. She's gorgeous. How hard was it? Was it hard? After yeah. I got the epidural, it was so easy and so fast and kind of fun. Have you picked right? a name? Yes, her name's Rainbow. We're you know, the, my party. family wanted an Italian name, so I right. at least give them the flow. You know? Right, right, right. <laughs> Rainbow Aurora Rotella. <laughs> yeah. She'll be happy. She'll be like, just like call me. me Aurora. Oh, here oh. she comes. Oh, she's speak of the devil. This totally is y'all's baby. <laughs> she's <laughs> like, she well, we looks so. so beautiful. <laughs> I'm here to be the kicker outer. They're gonna discharge you, so. We, we love, love you. you. Yeah, we love you guys, too. We're so, so beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, we couldn't be happier. Thanks. Oh, it was so amazing to have all my closest friends in Vegas come and see the baby right away. It feels really amazing to have that support. She Looks just good. went straight on my boob and passed out. <laughs> Lucky girl. <laughs> How's my jelly belly? It's good. <laughs> it's new adventure time. The first night home with the baby, it's what everybody talks about. It's, you know, staying up all night with your baby and getting to know her. And it's amazing and exciting and tiring and exhausting at the same time. Uh, so hard to get up with my baboon but. Hi, little girl. Do you want to lay down in your new bassinet for a while? Whee! Oh, good girl. <laughs> she, like, gets lost in the bassinet. It's so big, and she's so little. Oh, look at her stretch out. Oh, my gosh, she looks so cute. Coming up, I was thinking about how cute Rainbow would look in, like, a miniature bridesmaid's dress. Breast milk for you. Grandma's here. Grandma and Grandpa are here. Oh my gosh. She's got her fancy dress on for you guys. Wanna go see Grandma? Oh, jeez. Look oh, at Louie attack. Louie, don't lick her. Louie wants the little one. It's really comforting to have my parents here. It's really funny to see them holding my baby. It's like the 
circle of life. So is there going to be a wedding in the future? Um. Oh, boy. My mom and my friends and everybody are asking when Pasquale and I are gonna get married now that the baby's here, but he hasn't formally proposed and there's not a ring, so I kind of feel stupid setting anything up at this point. Look at your big blue eyes. Looking, Looking at everything. Yeah. I didn't think I would get any grandchildren. <laughs> it's just me an awful good. She really is. I think her feet are a little cold. Yeah, we should probably take her in. It's getting windy. Probably so. I've been at home with the baby for a while now, and my friends are kind of urging me to get out of the house and bring the baby out. So we went out to lunch, and I brought Rainbow. Goodness, she just grows up every single minute. I know. She's already changed so much, and it's only yeah. been a few days. Yeah. Baby but, girl. So does it feel any different than you thought it was going to feel? I mean, like... Definitely. Like, I feel happier, and I'm enjoying yeah. the whole thing. But, um... Do you want how's your space? vagina? Oh, I'm really excited because my vagina does not look like a stick of dynamite went off in it. Okay. Because I was scared. A if stick I just of dynamite? It, you can look forward to the fact that your vagina will go back to normal. I'm not pushing anything out of my vagina. <laughs> Is marriage on the brain? Before we could even get our drink order in, it's like all the serious questions come out just reminds me how much is going on in my life right now. I don't want to just plan my wedding in like only well, four he's months. Super busy. He has like stuff he's all the time. Really by getting the busier time and he busier. has an opening in his schedule, she's gonna be 21, <laughs> drinking and getting drunk at y'all's wedding. I know I'm getting old. I wanna come to the wedding. I wanna start shopping. I wanna start <laughs> into all the <laughs> She's good. Whoa! I was thinking about how cute Rainbow would look in like a miniature bridesmaid's dress. She would look beautiful. Are you wanting to wait until she's old enough to be a flower girl? Pasquale and I have talked a lot about marriage, and he knows, you know, that I want to have the proper time to plan it and everything. And he's just really busy right now, so it's hard to lock down a date. When do you think we should set a date for? Because I have to book the venue. Well, the summer's crazy, but... The weather's good in the summer. I'd hate to have it rain on the wedding. I've been so busy with my business and moving and the baby. It's been hard to find a date. Let's go through the months. June is... June is really soon. What about, like, um, the middle of July? What do you think about that? Middle of July is hard because we're going to be in London. Oh, right. Yeah, we'll probably be in Europe for a while. What about, like, the last week of the summer, like the end of August? If you want to do it at Burning Man, yeah. No! That sounds really good to me, actually. I do not want to do it at perfect. Burning Man. <laughs> Neither does Rainbow. I mean, ordinarily, like, I wouldn't be opposed, you know, to waiting a while, but I might be pregnant again by next summer. <laughs> yeah. Pasquale works a lot, and things have been getting much busier for him lately, and I know this is going to be a really busy summer. There's a lot of pressure, you know, adjusting to a new baby and making sure we have enough time together and getting a wedding done. It's like the one last crazy thing we have to fit in there. Why don't we focus on getting into the new house and then try picking a date? To be continued. Coming up. It's just one of the ones that That's one that of the ones liked. that, well, the one you really like is coming up next. We're not going through the drive through wedding chapel. Hell no. This is not helping the situation. Baby, I want to enjoy all my time with you. Baby. Baby. You know, I'm just getting busier and busier. Uh-huh. While I was thinking, <laughs> rather than us doing a big production, I thought we could just do this really quickly. Oh, we're not going through the drive through wedding chapel. You invited people? <laughs> Hell no. 
Like, I want to plan the perfect wedding. I would never do a drive through wedding. Babe, this is our day. No, it's not. We have Rainbow with us. Hi, you guys. Hi. Thank you. I can't undo my window. <laughs> this is sabotage. At first, when we drove up to the wedding chapel, the drive through wedding chapel, I thought, okay, maybe we're doing some wedding research. And then I saw that Josh was there and Tanya, and I'm like, hell no. This is not helping the situation. We are not doing this. I am getting the wedding that I want. This is not the real one. You have, no, you have to come back to the real one. We're not really doing this right now, right? You still want to plan, like, a good wedding. Babe. I wouldn't do you like this, you know, just playing around. Aww, but I do have fun. a date set for us in August. It took a lot of time. It was really hard because of how many festivals and stuff I have going on. But we finally found a wedding date, August 14th, 2013. Yay! I love you, Bobo. That's what I'm talking about. She doesn't want anything massive. She doesn't want a huge wedding or anything like that. But I know that she wants something that's special, as do I. I'm excited that she's wanting to marry me. Thanks again, you guys. All right, we'll see, you later. All right. see you later. Bye, Bye. Rainbow. Bye. Bye. Oh, she did kind of wait. <laughs> Looking for an engagement ring has been quite the process. I really wanted to do something unique and special for Holly. I have a lot of ideas on what I want to do. Babe, this is Alan. Hi, I'm Holly. Hi, honey. Hi. Atlanta. Nice Hi. to meet you. Congratulations on the baby. Thank you. When he brought the jeweler, it really reminded me how seriously he's taking this and how much time and effort he's putting into it. OK, I have gorgeous. Oh, my god, that's huge. This is amazing. Is this one of the ones that I like? That's one of the ones that, well, the one you really like that's coming up next. Uh-oh, what's the one you really like? I got to see this. Now, this is the one he really liked. Oh, my god. That's amazing. It looks like it goes on forever, too. Like, you could dive into that. And how many carrots is this? 18. How do you feel about that rocking on your little hands? Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> what about Rainbow? How does it look on Rainbow? Oh, my goodness. Can you imagine? Very bad. Damn, look at you. Bling, bling. I think she needs her first ring, too. Oh, little girl. I love the design that you came up with. I love it. Yeah, I told him I'd, lo I'd love something if he designed it special. Well, he did his due diligence. He did a lot yeah, of work. definitely. <laughs> he really did. The fact that Pasquale went to so much trouble to find the perfect jeweler really reminded me how much he does care and how into the wedding he is. Let's show Daddy your nursery. Look, Rainbow. Oh, she doesn't like it. Oh, it looks <laughs> I finally really good. finished the wall. It's such a great feeling, you know, to finally be in the finished nursery that I feel so proud of. And to be with my baby, who's the greatest thing that ever happened to me. And to be with Pasquale, who's the best guy I could have ever met. <laughs> She's giving you the concerned look. What do you want? Are you hungry? You want mommy to give you some loving? Oh! Ah. <laughs> really? My little fart monster. Ah, fart machine. She wants my finger. Let's try putting her in the crib and then see if they pass on her. Okay. Come on, Rainbow. There we go. I live for rainbows. Me too. super fast. He's everything you could want in a guy. We want the same things out of life. Now we have this amazing baby. I'm so happy with Pasquale and with my baby. It's just amazing to feel like this is real and I'm gonna enjoy it for the rest of my life. But I'm excited for what's next. We've got a whole wedding to plan and a huge adventure ahead of us.